Hi everybody, this is Maria Clark and welcome to my studio. Today I have a project to make a silver origami style crane necklace. I hope you enjoyed this project. Let's get started. The first uh, pieces I have here are some Blue Moon origami style cranes and they're in a silver tone metal and um, they, count, they came on the string. I think I got these at Joann's and then I also got these little charms that have uh, engraved words on them and I'm actually going to use the little drop charm that says wish and uh, you can see a little close-up of that, of that um, wish bead. These are really pretty and they have um, a nice uh, sort of luster to them and they match the crane beads perfectly. The other things, materials and tools that we'll use are uh, just jewelry pliers and we'll use some four millimeter silver beads some uh, head pins and um, a clasp and some chain. So it's really a pretty simple project. So what I'm showing you here is how I mark the um, pliers. These are round nose pliers and I'm just measuring them with the eye pins that I'll be using and make a little mark with my Sharpie. And it's much easier to do that um, so that you get consistent loops. The first thing that we're going to do is actually make some little connecting uh, sections here. And I have an eye pin and I strung a four millimeter silver bead and then the silver crane and another bead. And I'll cut off, um, I'll, I'll leave about, oh, I don't know, maybe um, three quarters of an inch. And you'll notice that I marked my jewelry pliers earlier uh, to fit the, um, the eye pin the size of the eye pin and then it's just a matter of rolling uh, the the wire and forming an, uh, a nice beautiful loop. This is really simple to form these loops and we're actually going to make uh, a number of these loops. Uh, there are 17 total connecting pieces all told and um, now what I'm doing here is I'm just stringing one of the I have a ball head pin, a head pin with a little ball on the end, and then one of the four millimeter beads, another four millimeter bead, and I'll do the same thing as before, and I will cut off um, to leave about three quarters of an inch, and then I'll form that top loop. We'll just roll that up and break the neck and then we have a beautiful um, loop. And just kind of straighten that up a little bit. And once I have all of these connecting pieces completed, I'll start to assemble the necklace and I have chain nose pliers. And I'm starting um, with a little the drop here and that's three of the uh, origami cranes and um, now I'm just going to do each side and I'm using seven connecting pieces on each side of the necklace. This is a Y style necklace so I'll go ahead and complete um, adding together all of these connecting pieces and as I said seven on each side. So you can see here I'm just opening the loop and the way you open the loop is just to twist it and then I'll thread on the next piece. And close up that loop. And I'm gonna fast forward through this so you can get a sense of how it comes together, but it's really a very repetitive um, process here as I make uh, and connect up each one of these connecting pieces. Very simple. This is a really simple project, but it has a really elegant look to it. I think you'll really uh, love to see. So I'm going to leave you to watching me put this all together, and then we'll come back when we're ready to add the next pieces. Okay, I've got all my pieces together, and you can see that there are seven cranes on each side, and then a drop of three cranes, and I'm going to add the uh, little drop bead with the wish sentiment on it. Now just go ahead and add that and close that loop up. And then I will take the larger 
oval jump ring and you can see how that's going to come together. So I'll just um, open up the loop on the uh, drop and thread on the oval jump ring. Close the loop and then I will add each side. and close that last piece up. Okay, and you can see how the basic Y construction comes together. And now what I'm going to do is measure the seven um, pieces because this is going to be about an 18 inch necklace. And so you see I've got about six inches there. So that means I need to add about three inches of chain on each side to make about 18 inches. And you could adjust that, of course, uh, depending on the size of your clasp and how far you want this to, to drop, but this works for me. So I will measure out three inches of chain. This particular chain that I'm using has, is, um, uh, has it's not closed chain, so it's got, it's like a jump ring, and it's got the little uh, cut there. So I'm able to go ahead and open these up to release the the section that I need. If this was a closed chain, then I would just go ahead and use my cutters and cut the piece off. So I'll take off my three inches, and again, because it serves as a jump ring, I don't need to add another jump ring, and I'll go ahead and add that to the one side. Okay, cut off the next three inch section. And add it to the other side. And then I can add the pieces of the toggle clasp. I'll add the other side of the clasp. This is a really simple toggle clasp. You, you could use any number of types of clasps. This just happened to be what I had. And we will close that up and it comes together beautifully. And here's how the finished piece looks. It's really stunning in person, and it's so simple and elegant and um, really a nice look. It has a really pretty drape to it. Okay, we're all done with that. Now, there's a couple of things I wanted to share with you. If you don't like the tone on tone with the uh, all metal color, you can color the cranes with some alcohol ink. And I've just got some um, Ranger alcohol ink and watermelon this color is. And just uh, drop a, a couple drops out. 
and I will use a cosmetic sponge to apply the ink to the bead. And you can see that it's really uh, sort of a transparent kind of look, but a couple coats and it'll give it a nice color. You could use some other uh, techniques to, to color this. I happen to have alcohol inks and I actually thought it looked pretty nice. So I'll go ahead and add that. One thing I do want to tell you is that you do need to seal it in order to uh, preserve the color. And you can see how really pretty uh, that could look. You could use one or you could color all of the beads. It would be really pretty. The next thing is to add color using beads. And in the tone on tone, I just used the four millimeter silver beads, but you could see how it would look here with some red beads. Now, I didn't have a whole bunch in the four millimeter size, so these, um, these sort of um, minty color green beads are actually, um, they're probably six millimeter, and I think they're too big for the crane. Um, you could use your judgment on what pleases you, but I would stick with the four millimeters, but that's a pretty color. It's very subtle, and I think it gives a really nice look. Here's a little darker sort of glass beads, and you can see how that looks. If you like the sort of silver and gold tone, I actually think it looks really pretty. Here's some gold filigree beads, and then the crane, and that gives a really nice look. And then lastly, I had these really pretty deep blue beads and um, I thought these would make a really nice pop of color and I think it, it's stunning really if you wanted to use some beads like this to give your piece a whole new look and you can add as many you know maybe you only just want to do a few with color or the drop maybe with color I think that would be really really pretty so we'll get that other bead on here and you'll get a chance to see how that looks And I just think that's beautiful. That would be really, really pretty. So you have lots of options on how you'd like to um, finalize your necklace or customize it. I hope you enjoyed this project. It was really a lot of fun um, doing this, and I just think it is so elegant. I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. I want to thank you for joining me in my studio. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. Please uh, consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing. Thanks for joining me in my studio. Take care.